Make way for the double champ. The following is an eight-man tag match. Introducing first, from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, one half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, John Cena! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline, has arrived. And his partners, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, one half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief has participated in some of the biggest matches we have ever seen. Including an absolutely unforgettable SummerSlam main event. The first last man standing match in SummerSlam history. Just one of countless memorable moments in the incredible career of Roman Reigns. And the scary part is, Saxton, the Tribal Chief is nowhere near finished. The Tribal Chief of the Bloodline showing off all of his hard-earned gold. And if you're hoping to take either of those titles, Good luck. Make way for the double champ. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Rock. Imagine all the hard work the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain. This guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The title collector is here. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Brock Lesnar! Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule.
The double champ showing off all of his hardware. Arrogance and confidence on the double champ's face, but he's obviously earned it. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake! And from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Stone Cold Steve Austin looks prepped and ready to stomp a mud hole. The Texas Rattlesnake is ready for a fight. Undeniable, unstoppable attitude. We're about to raise some hell, gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin may be the greatest superstar in WWE history in the opinion of many. Austin's opponent has a tall order tonight. One of the most prolific competitors in WWE history. Without question, a man who has exhibited over 25 years of dominance in sports entertainment. And that dominance will continue before our very eyes tonight. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the WWE European Champion, The Game, Triple H. As always, Triple H is marching to the ring with purpose. And as always, the purpose remains the same. Plain and simple, domination. Triple H has remained atop the WWE for two decades and shows no signs of slowing down yet. Take no prisoners in the boardroom or in the ring. That's the mantra of Triple H. A man who possesses the singular driving focus to be the absolute best in his career and life. And yeah, knowing that makes him an extremely difficult opponent to prepare for. The game is about to begin. A beacon of hope to young Hulkamaniacs like uh, one Brian Kelly. Oh, I know that guy. Hulk Hogan created an entire paradigm shift, transcends sports entertainment, and Hulkamania continues to run wild here tonight. The strongest force in the history of WWE. There has never been another quite like Hulk Hogan and Hulkamania. And Hulkamania is running wild. Hulk Hogan is unstoppable. It is deafening in here. What?
make way for the double champ. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the PC champion, The Undertaker. Only a small handful of WWE superstars have held two championships simultaneously, and this man now joins their ranks. Yeah, it's an honor no matter how long you hold both titles, but the reality is most double champions lose at least one title before long. This man is determined to be the exception rather than the rule. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain. This guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. A tag match the WWE Universe has been salivating for. And here you see Cena, Roman Reigns, The Rock, and Brock. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. From behind, back suplex. Whoa, this is surprising. Yeah, I'm not really sure yet. Oh, no, he can be caught in that bad spot. And he lets him out of the submission hole. The colossal clutch. And he chooses to go to hold. But just the amount of time he was in that submission could be very significant. Some considerable damage, though. Ooh, oh, the, the damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Spear! There's the switch. John Cena's in. their opponent. Nice counter by Austin. Vicious right forward. Double X handle. Oof. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. And did you hear me there? Oh, kick connects. He's able to fend off the attack. Watching them at this point. Oh my! Oh, going up to the top rope. Rocket launcher. Intimidation. Part of what makes Triple H the cerebral assassin. He's got it. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. It's locked. Cross face chicken wing. Submission lock. And delivers the out right there. Elbow. And gets out. Oh, he close line. Gaze 
toward his opponent. Oh. Close line! Now he's been put on the defensive. Seeing a dead man walk. Good measure. Close fist connects. Contact to the back of the net. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And he makes the save for his team. Was mounted with the punches and not and a stop to the gut too. And there's Austin sent flying on a step ahead of the rock. Right to the leg. The game firing up. Close the ball. Back of the net. Ooh. Expected that one. There's a right in on the holy race. Big punch finds its mark. Uh-oh. The Rock has this wrapped up. Could he not 
keep him down for even one. Popped up. No way. Yes way. What power. Tombstone. Shoulders down. Cover. And the count doesn't even begin. What a jaw dropping show of strength this late into the match. And guys, we're seeing one of those rare opponents that can take everything the Undertaker dishes out. Let's see if the dead man can put that final nail. And there's the cover. Shoulder up before the count started. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Yeah. 
Still in it. What a gutsy performance. He toss. Again, delivers a big boot. Blazing attack to the stomach. Oh, look at that. Check his nose. And so Cole showing his will to battle the effects of this match. Rock has had flashes of control, but not on that one. Lifted way up. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Special, but this one just raised the bar even higher. I bet the whole locker room was watching.